Hello, my name is Bobby, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make the most of the behaviors feature in Script Runner for Jira Cloud. Particularly in this video, we're going to be showing you how you can dynamically hide and show fields based upon options that are selected in the issue itself. So, for example, if I make a selection in a single select dropdown, that then drives a certain subset of fields that are either hidden or shown depending on the option that I've selected. So to start with, you can see here that we've got a behavior that I've named dynamically hide or show a field. This is going to be enabled and we're going to be mapping it to the webinar project and of issue type story. Now that we've done that information and we've set the behavior up to act in the area we wanted to, we've got to write the script that's actually going to make those changes. So if I click to add a script, we need to choose when it's going to run and what views it's going to run on. I want this to be consistent throughout, so I'm going to have it execute on load and on change and also on the create and issue view. This means that when either the create or create is not necessarily going to impact it, but when we go and look in the issue view on load, the screen will execute the script and hide and show the correct fields and on change, whenever there is a change made, we can go and hide and show the fields. Next, I'm going to add the script. I'm just going to paste the script in here now um, just to show you how it works rather than type it all out. And I'm, I'm going to make a few slight changes because this script has currently been designed to just get the um, field that's been changed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that, get rid of this and that. So we are still going to have to make a couple of changes to this script, but we can do that relatively easily. So the first thing we need to do is we are going to, the logic that we're going to be doing is the ticket department field. Um, so that is, if I go to click create an issue, you can see here under this behaviors tab, we've got department with we three options, HR, finance, and product. When HR is shown, I want the user, user region field to be shown. When finance is selected, I want the ticket category drop down to be available. And when product is selected, I want both of these to be hidden. So we have the, the ticket department field here. So I just need to get the value of that field. So const ticket department value equals ticket department field dot get value. And then all we are going to be doing is a switch on this value here. We also need to get the actual value itself rather than the ID selection. So here we get the string value of what's been selected. And now we're doing a switch and we are saying, if it's finance, we want to take the user region and set that to, um, visit, set that to hidden visible false and the category true. If it's HR vice versa, and if it's product, we want to set them both to false. So if I click save script and then save the behavior as a whole, if I now go to my screen here, we'll start again, create a new issue for webinar type story. So if I go to behaviors and if I select HR, we can see that user region is the only one available to me. If I select finance, ticket category is the only one available to me. And if I select product, neither are available to me. We did also set this up for the issue view. So if I go to an issue here, we can see the product is selected for this particular issue. And because we set it to execute on load, it automatically does that calculation for us. If I change this to HR, the user region, and then product, um, and then finance, the ticket category is available. Hopefully this has been helpful. Thank you very much for your time. Have a great rest of the day.